Hey everybody, it's John for the Game Duo here. Today's a special day, nonetheless, as we are continuing our Pokemon Blue Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. And, well, last episode, we actually got a lot done in a short amount of time. I'm very happy. We got kind of in a weird spot as well. Oh my gosh, the frogs are going to be annoying tonight, apparently. If you guys don't know, basically we have uh, frogs. And those frogs are just, they mate in our pond and basically have fun. Um, and, you know, they've got a bunch of tadpoles in there taken care of and they're loud as love can be. But that's okay. I love them. Um, anyway, let's do a team recap because that was the coming <laughs> lately sidetracked. We have J-Rod the Gold Dog with Hydro Pump, Waterfall, Body Slam, and Cut. We have Cypher, level 32, the Electric Type. With Thunderbolt, Tri-Attack, Thunder Punch, and Flamethrower. We have Adorable Puzzle and Minin with the move Stop, Tackle, Double Team, and Payday. We have Char the Charmander, or the Charmeleon, with Body Slam, Thunder Punch, Solar Beam, and Fire Blast. We have Kawhi the Dragon Knight with the moves Fire Blast, Vine Whip, Psychic, and Stomp. And we have Ty, the Pokemon that we can't use at all because this man literally saved us from the Rock Tunnel. Okay, like... He basically was like, yeah, we're out here. We're just going to do it. Do our thing. And he's all 36 now. So, sadly, he cannot be used because Erica, the person who we're fighting today, is level 34 as her ace. Level 33, 34. So, we really can't level up too much. Do we have the odd? I don't think we have the old rod yet, do we? No, we went fishing. We so oh I never got that did I well I guess we can't go fishing because I never went and got the fishing rod when I had to redo everything so I got to give myself the old rod at some point so we can do that so obviously we could go to lavender count actually no because they'll be considered ghosts so they won't be actual like things yet so we can't do that can we make it? No. Okay. I figured I figured we couldn't make it, but you never knew. You never know with all that stuff. And then we got an Abra. So, very easy start to this episode. But, we're going to get our encounter here, too. Pokemon, J-Rod, use Cut. Okay, I guess this is the only scenario where we can use Ty. Because Ty's are thing for catching Mons. And our Pokemon for this route is... Okay! A Nidorito! I don't mind that. That evolves into a Nido King. And in this generation, Nido King is power. And will still continue to be power no matter what generation it is in. I like, I like this Mon. This Mon definitely is a Mon I could see using. It's got the nice poison typing. So that it woke up. Oh, I caught it anyway. It's got that noise poison ground typing once it evolves. Yeah, we're gonna give it a nickname. It is the King King Culpa. Um, sorry, it's gonna it's a thing now. Culpa. I'm sorry, but every Nido King that I'm gonna get, it's gonna be King Culpa. Um, because you know the King of Content, King Culpa. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, subscribe already. Like, what are you doing? Um, he's literally in my sidebar. We're doing a collab right now. It's called the Pokemon Sun Trilink. Uh, episode actually went up on Karai's channel today or yesterday, depending on what happens. Because he's feeling under the weather and I don't want to pressure him because that's not my, that's not my MO. I don't like pressuring people. And even if he wasn't feeling it, even if he wasn't feeling under the weather, I'd want him to take his time, do his thing with his episode. Because I don't want him to feel like... I'm sitting here like mad at him because he's not feeling well or that he hasn't gotten something done and I'm like no I'm not mad like I'm very chill as long as you give me what I need for my episode then we're good like and you know that's why we made the schedule the way it was is so that just in case something happened it wouldn't screw somebody else up um, also this is a new encounter too 
Um, which is why I do that kind of stuff, especially with collabs. Like, this is the first ever collab, but when I always thought to myself, whenever I do a collab, I don't want to have it so that if one person has something happen, everything gets screwed up. Also, we have a Butterfree already, so that is do 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 dupes. That is 100% dupes. We already have a Butterfree. We do not have a Tentacool and Tentacruel yet. So that is a new Mon for us. We're gonna go ahead and Sleep Powder that it missed, but it hit the second time, and we are going to go ahead and Pokeball. And we got that out of the Pokedex. Oh, I forgot to nickname it. Yay. There's the name Raiders over here somewhere, I wanna say. So we're in Celadon City now. And like very quickly, we got here, but we're fighting Erica today, okay? Like. There's a lot that we're doing today. We're gonna fight Erica. We're gonna go to Lavender Town. Like, it is not a small day by any means. This episode is gonna be jam packed full of stuff. So I hope you are ready. Like, I, honestly, I hope you're ready because it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a doozy. There's gonna be a lot happening. Also, we get a thingy in here. A haunter. Of course, we'll nickname it, um, not what I was thinking about nicknaming it for a second. Um, so this is a train evolution. I'm theoretically, this is supposed to be a level of 37 evolution and I might have to just train it up to level 37 to make sure it evolves. And if it doesn't, then, um, there's Poke Gen for a reason. Um, I didn't say that. No, I totally didn't say that. Um, there's Poke Gen for a reason. Like. If things aren't the way that they're supposed to, I can always fix them with Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna name it Dale. Or, yeah, I'm gonna name it Dale because... Might as well. Or, no, no, no. Let's name it Oscar. Oscar has been uh, supporting the series, so I really do appreciate it. So now you get a Haunter slash Gengar. Which is actually a very good Pokemon in this generation. Um, uh, why are they be Okay, all these Pokemon are getting sent to box 12. Which is actually making me angry because I have to fix it later. Which is basically after the recording set, Not the session, so another one of those days where I'm only recording one episode. But, that's another one where I'm gonna have to fix it. And I'm like, I don't like- I'm fine with fixing things, but with the degree that I've had to fix this stuff, it's been annoying. Um, but- I love it, so it's not too annoying. But we're gonna get some, um, another gym badge today. Episode 8, we're already on gym 4. That is actually kind of crazy to think about. That we're on gym 4 and it's only episode 8. Like, I feel like most series don't get that far that quick. Like, I feel like this has actually been a very quick series. And I know it's the first generation. I know this game was naturally known for being fast, but I think speed up is also a big contributor. Plus, it's like we're getting to that point where it's like, do we continue? Do we do this? Obviously, we're gonna continue the series, but we're at that weird kind of crossroady point. Wait, is the gym up here? I feel like it's no, it's not. Okay. But yeah, we're at this weird crossroad point where it's like, I don't know what to do, and you just kind of... After this, after we go through, um... The area that we gotta go through, it's just like... Um... Well, I guess we just... Did what we needed to do, like... Yeah, it's like, it's one of those... One of those spots in the game where it's just like, we did it, yay, oh wow, good job us. Um, sections. Because, uh, oh, this guy's peering at the window. Hee hee, this gym is great. It's full of women. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, it's great because it's full of women. That's awesome. I'm glad that you, like, never mind. <laughs> that would have been bad. Um. Oh, no. We're not supposed to use Tide this episode. Well, Kawhi gets to enjoy some time on the battlefield because we haven't, she hasn't enjoyed time for a while. Psychic. Kill that thing. Ah, uh, another water type. Water types are actually kind of scary. 
That thing just exploded. Okay. Gotta watch out for that. Apparently. I didn't think I'd have to watch out for an exploding Pokemon. But I guess we do. Because of course we have to watch out for exploding Pokemon. Um, Weeping Bell, that is a Kawaii ordeal. Kawaii hit level 33, which is kind of where we want her to be. Uh, Cloyster. Oh, More of this. Uh, 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 I am gonna heal that. I don't necessarily trust my luck. Cypher's level 33. Oh, Magneton. Hello, I was not paying attention. Um. I'm gonna flamethrower. That ended up working. Way better than I thought it would, but it, like I said, we kind of want that, those things to work, so. Ooh, something J-Rod can destroy instantaneously. And two Rapidashes! This girl had two Rapidashes in a Grass-type gym. Okay. Go ahead and have your two Rapidashes. Have fun with that. I actually, like I said, Rapidash is actually one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation. It's my second favorite Pokemon in this generation. Ooh, somebody recognizes me from Celadon. Ooh, Charmander, that's dead. Staryu. Staryu is not dead. That's that's a Cypher thing. Cypher's gonna get that just, just out of the way. Um, Doug Trio, that's dead. Executor. Um, I don't have a bug type on the team. That's actually weird that I don't have a bug type. I'm so used to having one at this point in the game. But, I mean, I've caught a bug type for sure. Ooh, Flareon's dead. Okay, time to heal everybody up for this gym battle. Surprised that it's already happening, to be fair, but... Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have off. Welcome, my name is Erica, and I'm the gym leader of the Celadon Gym. I will teach you the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Or are they really? I'm not sure. I don't really know my Pokemon types, but I have no idea that you wish to battle me at all. Very well, I shall not lose. Mmm, I disagree with that. I actually, we haven't seen a legendary. I'm ready for one. Ooh, okay, Porygon. Porygon's not dead, surprisingly. Dodrio, also surprisingly not dead. And Spiro, also surprisingly dead. That was the quickest gym battle I've ever seen in my life. Here's the layout Rainbow Badge. Pokemon up level 50 will obey, and now you can use strength outside of battle. Take this TM. You receive TM 21. It is Hordra! Oh! Okay! Okay, you can calm down with the horn drill. Um, luckily abilities do not exist in this game because Culpa definitely would have loved horn horn drill in the sleep block. It's definitely, Cul if Culpa would have had horn drill in the sleep block, ooh, that would have been that would have been insane. Because then horn drill would have been taught to I already know what, but. So this is where the next gym's like forever away. So the next gym's level 49, so. So the next gym is uh, quite, like, quite a distance, to say the least, but. A hotel, okay. Like, I, I, do I, I need the coin case, right? Like, I swear I do. Yes, okay, there's the coin case.
And I can go in here. Is this the prize area? Probably. Ah, oh, that's the hotel. Okay. We gotta find our area. So that's the big mark. I think this is where I traditionally would get s No! No, it's Sabrina that I remember being... Being the more annoying of the two. And then Voltorb yes, just destroyed by that. Okay. Well, that was a quick and easy. And now we can go into, I guess, Rocket's Base 2. Dude, the original theme to this is awesome. Alakazam! Oh, that's a scarier mon, but we kind of destroyed that no problem. Okay. So there's, we're going to need a lot of items in here. That I do recall. I recall there being a ton of items in here. That may just be because I'm thinking of the later games, but I don't think it's just the later games. Also, could we potentially get... If I put Charmeleon in the front, I could be at it. Ooh, protein. Money, 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 money. Ba -da 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 -da. Money, 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 money. Oh, money, 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 money. Gotta love that money, 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 money. Trying to find the skill self scope, are you? Um, of course they are. Omanite. Um, Omanite. I feel like, okay, so, I know this is a weird play, but Thunder Punch from Char should kill. Abra's next, Thunder Punch from Char. Pidgeotto's next, Thunder Punch from Char. And Amistar's next, freaking Thunder Punch from Char. Get Char this experience! We want a Charizard, now! We can't wait for a Charizard! Charizard is way too important! Yeah, no, honestly though, a Charizard would be really neat. I haven't used a Charizard since um, Pokemon Sun. Like, and it died to some stupid rock type attack. Well, it obviously died to a rock type attack because that's literally what it's weak to. But that's besides the point. Okay, can I get over there? Yes, I can. What did I get here? An elixir. Elixir is not bad. We'll take that because um, that actually does kind of... Oh, that was an item that I didn't pay attention to. A Pokedoll. That I can just... I'll use just to use at some point. And then a TM, which I think we already had that TM. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot believe I just did that. That actually sucks. That I totally just did that. Okay, now we can go up here, up these stairs. And then, these stairs will lead us to another Pokeball. So you get an X special. X accuracy sounds cooler, but that's okay. So I'm gonna fire blast this thing. That thing gets destroyed. Nine tails. I'll swap on the nine tails. Just because I don't want to lose the nine tails, it'd be a very bad thing to do that. Onyx, uh, Kawhi, you can come in here and vine whip that. And that that's that battle. That battle happened just instantaneously. Oh, I'm a champ. Okay. So I'm a champ. Let's thunder punch that just a couple times here. Hyper beam. Um. I don't recall there being sun in this game, or like, like, weather effects, so I'm thinking that Hyper Beam actually might be cooler. And then I'll be mad when I figure out that there actually is weather effects, you know? Shelder. Okay, Shelder, we're going back into Kawhi. 
Kawhi can actually gain levels now, and it's very nice. Golding, no. Kawhi needs to gain levels. Kawhi is level 33. Like, I don't mind Kawhi being level 33. I don't mind Kawhi being a little bit underleveled in terms of, like... Because, I mean, she's literally a freaking, um... What's it called? She's a Dragonite, for Pete's sakes. Like, Kawhi can be underleveled, and I'll be fine. Like, I won't die because Kawhi's underleveled. At least I don't feel like I would die due to Kawhi being underleveled. Fire Blast, get that thing out. Sand Slash. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I'm gonna Body Slam. We're three levels away from Charizard. We can do this. Okay, like... TM43. We'll take that TM2. I don't know what it is, but... All we know. The max repel. I don't mind that. That that that's that can be dealt with. Okay, we go here. Oh boy. Um. Squirtle, let's Thunder Punch that, that can die. Experience, um, 100%. Vulpix, Thunder Punch. Two levels away, we need to fight more Chanseys. That, that's what we need. We need more Chanseys. Um, so if we can find a way to fight more Chanseys, I'll be down. TM25, okay, another TM. But uh, Chanseys give you a whole bunch of experience in this game, as, I mean, 90% of people know. Um, and that's what we really need. I mean, like I said, if we can get Charizard to become a Charizard, and which we will in this episode. Like, I don't see a way that we wouldn't do it. Flareon. Um, I just don't. I don't see a way that that would... Oh my gosh, I run out of items the time we get the item that I need. Um, okay. Find out what some of these things are. Coin case. I can toss that. Oh, that's too important to toss. Of course it is. Um, booted up a TM. It's Horn Drill. No, we don't want that. Rolling Kick. Who can learn it? Absolutely nobody. Like, we gotta sell that at some point. You know who would like an elixir, though? J-Rod would like an elixir. Because J-Rod did not get any of the experience that he needed to. All I'm about to... It's going to be like, you ran out of room again. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and toss it. Not gonna use it. Lemonade. That I will use. So that is definitely one hundred percent worth the item swap in my in my head and in my mind. That's a thousand percent worth. So let's go ahead. up these stairs like we're supposed to. Once I've got to traverse this puzzle again. Which really, to be honest, is not really a puzzle. Because now I can go over here, go into this. Let's go to the fourth floor. Perfect, exactly where we need. And let's body slam this. Get this thing out. Arbog is next. We're gonna body slam that. Get that out. Nido King is next. Um, on a Nido King, we're swapping into J Rod. 
I just don't trust it. Cubone, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna swap into J Rod. Golduck. That is a Cypher ordeal. We're gonna Thunderbolt that. Horsey, that's also kind of Cypher's ordeal. We did, we kept by Antidote because there isn't any yet, is there? So we're still kind of stuck without the ability to freaking heal off our poisons, which is awesome to say the least. Um, ooh, that's a TM for Wrap. Hello, that's very good. And that's a TM for Ice Beam. That's also very good. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that, honestly. I was like, not expecting them to be that good at this point in the game. Like, I was just like, oh, I was literally gonna take whatever I could get. So, the fact that that's what I got, can't even complain. Okay, so Sand Slash, I'm gonna go ahead and swap into J-Raw. This is the Giovanni fight. Ooh, Giovanni just used the Scar Specs, but didn't really matter. We are gonna have, oh wait, j Rod's the one that leveled up, I think. J-Rod's the one that leveled up. Dang it! I totally thought. Dang it! No room for items! That's a self sculpt though! Ah! I need to... Oh wait, isn't Fly like just right up there? I feel like Fly is literally just right up there, but I can't use it outside of battle until I beat the fifth gym or something. Um, TM6... Uh, let's find it! Actually, I feel like Ice Beam would be a very good move to teach someone. Nobody can learn it. Ah, uh, Rap. I don't want to waste time with Rap. Bind? Oh my gosh, I don't want to waste time with that either. I don't want to use the protein, but I'm going to have to. That sucks that I had to use the protein. So that's the self-scope. So we got the self-scope in this episode. We have legit done a an insane amount of stuff in this episode. To be fair, we have done way more than I really expected to get done in this episode. We might as well just use this lemonade because. And a burn heal. If it only was an antidote. Antidote is like the best thing. That's the thing we need at the very moment. So that would have been amazing to come in clutch like that. There we go! That's that's what we needed, right? Right there! I saw it transition saying we're level 36. We're trying to learn Fire Punch. Fire Punch over Fire Blast, Fire Punch over Fire Blast. I think over Hyper Beam 100%. Char is now officially Charizard. And our HP did not go up very much, actually. I'm surprised at how little it went up from the evolution between Charizard and... I mean, it's cool that we have a Charizard on the team. It almost feels like Charizard was our starter, even though Charizard definitely was not our starter. But, it like, it, it has the feel of a starter, you know? It just has that... You just gravitate towards it because... Like, you look at the team and you're like, oh, why do you have, why do you have your starter at the back? Like, why? Because, and I'm like, because it wasn't my starter. Like, that's the real answer. It wasn't my starter, so therefore, it's in the back. So I gotta fight those guys. I'll fight those four off screen because there's no point in fighting them on screen. Because we all know what's gonna happen. We're just gonna destroy the living daylights out of them. Is exactly what's gonna happen. Okay. Also, let me go to route 16 as well. We can get some more encounters. How many? How long has this episode been? Actually, I feel like this episode's been one of the longer episodes we've had on the channel so far. It looks like it says 20 minutes. 29 minutes. Okay. So we can get our two encounters then. I feel like it's fine to get our two encounters. Pokemon tie. Um. 
get up in the front. Pokemon J Rod. And our Route 16 encounter is a Paris. Paris is fine with me. I mean, yeah, it can't be sleep powder, but it's legitimately a Paris. And if I somehow can't manage to catch a Paris, I will be very sad. But there, bam, got it. That's what I expected. What are we gonna nickname the Paris? It's gonna evolve into Parasect, so I'm gonna name it, um... Nave. Nave the Parasect. And then we can go in here. Wait, I thought these were the girls, the people that gave you fly were in here. Oh, maybe she's in here. Ah! Oh, of course! It's like, oh, you don't have any room for this. Um, sell stuff. Can I toss this? No, it's an important item. Because, of course, it's an important item for an event that I've already done like 10 hours ago. I want the water stone, the helix fossil. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna fly over and won't have to worry about that. Um, super potions, poke balls, paralyzed heals. TM16 is bind. Can I toss this now? No, it's too important. X, it's X special. Let me toss that. There, we got fly. We got what we wanted, so we can, you know, do the thing. That, I'm glad that they made it in uh, in Gen 2 where he, it asks you, "Hey, do you want to use do you want to use cut?" Because it's annoying having it be like not asking you whether or not you want to use something. Oh well, I didn't think I'd have to fight him. Um. Psychic types are very scary in this gen. We're gonna go into Kawhi though, because Kawhi can stomp that away. Kabuto, Bind Whip, Executor, Fire Blast. Like, that's how that works, you know? It's just kinda just get to just destroy the. We just kinda just destroy everything, and then just deal with it later. <laughs> Mega Drain, all that HP back. Graveler, Vine Whip, and Alakazam, destroyed. Jolteon, destroyed as well. Like, we just are taking no, like, nothing for granted. Nothing, this, everything's just super dupe or easy at this point. Um, like, this next episode is gonna be super easy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, we got a few episodes until a gym, like, this is the biggest stretch between where there's gonna be no gym, but... Oh, that's for next episode. Oh, I can't get an encounter here. Uh-oh. That means I have to fight blue. Or Gen 2. Dang, Gen 2 also wants to fight this episode. Everything's happening in this episode, although Gen 2 is super easy because I think you're actually supposed to go through it in a different way than I did, but oh, it's a Gengar. That was dumb of me to do what I just did, but I'm going into Kawhi because that was super dumb of me to do what I just did. Although, Kawhi is now level 34. Gen 2 is about to send out a Starmie. Which gets basically annihilated by whatever, and we kill Gen 2 instantaneously. Oh, wait, no! Good, I avoided her. Tangela is a dupes clause encounter, we've already encountered that. 
Machamp. Okay, another chance to catch Machamp. Machamp would be nice. This this is like a Karai 2.0, but I can't name something Karai twice. I can name this Meta Munch. Meta Mech. Meta Mech. Meta Mech. Not Meta Munch. Meta Mech. We need to catch this now. Uh, I'm gonna sleep powder. It didn't affect the champ. Oh, it woke up turn one. What can I hit you with that you resist? Without, preferably without risking anybody's life. Um. Well, I guess since you're asleep. That'll be about what I can do. And now I'll go back and tie. Come on, Metamec. Never. There we go. My champion just was fighting hard until the end. Um, so Metamech, thank you for supporting the series, my dude. Um, you've been literally commenting on every episode of the series. And this is episode 8, so. Um, that's just awesome that, you know, I've got somebody supporting the series that loves the series. Hopefully we get to use you because, honestly, I love my champ. And it's a very good Gen 1 Pokemon to have. And I think this is a great spot to leave off the episode. Because in the next episode, we'll be going through this area, this tower, and destroying pretty much everybody in our path. And hopefully, uh, I gotta just hack in the old rod. Um, if I can. If I can't, no worries. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna freak out about hacking in that item. Um, because I'll be able to go from Fuchsia... I've got a fly now, so I don't even have to worry about hacking it in. I just have to beat the Future City Gym Leader before that, so I gotta get reminded to get the 12 encounter. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Share this with your friends if you really like this content a lot. It would mean the world to me. We're literally, as time of recording, we're almost at 350. We're two subscribers away from 350. So if we can magically hit that, that'd be insane. Now, we might actually have that hit after the episode goes live. Because this episode goes live on Thursday. Um, so, and then Trilink goes live tomorrow. So, this series does get uploaded daily. I try and upload it at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The only day it doesn't get uploaded is Friday. Because that's Trilink Day. So, be on the lookout. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you guys want that time to be changed, I will gladly change that for you guys. Um, but yeah, love you all. Peace.